I'm going to solve another problem about simple stress. No? Here's the problem. A steel column of hollow cylindrical cross-section is supported on a circular steel base plate and a concrete pedestal as shown in the figure. The column has outside diameter of 250 millimeters and supports a load of 1,000 kilonewtons. Letter A, if the allowable stress in the column is 55 megapascal, what is the minimum required thickness T? Uh, okay. the, the value of T must be an even integer, such as 10, 12, 14, and so on. Okay. And for letter B, if the allowable, allowable bearing stress on the concrete pedestal, this one, is 15 megapascal, what is the minimum required diameter D of the base plate if it is designed for the allowable load P that the column with the selected thickness can support? Uh, <clears throat> so for letter B, after choosing uh, the minimum thickness, an even integer, we compute for the allowable P based on chosen thickness, and then use that value to solve for D, given an allowable bearing stress. So first, let's solve for the minimum required thickness. Okay. <clears throat> So, given quantities outside diameter of the steel column, 250, and then the applied load P, 1,000 kilonewtons. Letter A, find the required thickness of the steel column. Given that the allowable, uh, the allowable stress is 55 megapascal. So, for letter A, it's compressive stress uh, steel column. <clears throat> So, P is already given 1,000. Uh, stress is also given 55 megapascal. So, ang unknown na to is A. So, nasa area ang unknown. Now, the resisting area is this one. Annular no? cross-section. Bigger circle minus smaller circle. And the area of that is areas of bigger square, uh, bigger circle minus area of smaller circle. Now, for the smaller circle, the inner diameter, this one, inner diameter is equal to outer diameter minus twice the thickness. Okay, so outer diameter minus twice the thickness, that's the inner diameter. And so we have this one. P over area, pi over for outer diameter square minus inner diameter square and let's substitute values make sure that all units are in newtons and millimeters para consistent sa stress na mega pascal which is newton per millimeter square so p will be converted to newtons we have this one 55 mega pascal 1000 kilo newton times conversion factor kilonewtons to newtons and then for the denominator 250 millimeters minus this one. So solving this using your calculator gives T equal to 25.816 millimeters. And the minimum value must be bigger than this since dimension one. So it should be uh, 26, the next even integer. 26 millimeters and not 24. Because if you will use 24 millimeters, you may substitute there. The result will be, the resulting stress would be bigger than 55. And it's not safe since the allowable value is only 55. But if you will use 26 here, you will have a stress less than 55, so it's very safe. Okay, so the safe one is 26 millimeters. 
Now for letter B, using this value of T, we now compute for the new allowable value of P, okay? Given the same allowable stress and the required thickness, or the given thickness, we now compute for the new allowable value of P. So solving for the inner diameter, 198 millimeters and using the same formula. <clears throat> uh, 55 of stress, P allowable, pi over 4 outer diameter square minus inner diameter square gives us 1,614.96 newtons or in kilonewtons we have 1,006. 0.31 kilo newtons. A little higher than 1,000 kilo newtons. Now, using this value, we now solve for the diameter of the base plate uh, using the formula of bearing stress. Given, given, and for the area, we have pi over 4 b squared. And solving for D gives us 292.26 mega millimeters. And if you want an integer, then it's 293 and not 292. So the next whole number, you choose the next whole number. Okay, so that's it. Oh. I hope that you have learned something from this video. Thank you for watching.